In this video from our Demon Slayer fight series, we'll cover the first fight, out of many, in the Infinity Castle arc, Shinobu vs. Doma. But before I start the video, I want to make a special announcement. Because we reached 10,000 subs, I want to thank all of you by giving back. And here's how I'm gonna do it. I'll leave an Easter egg somewhere inside the videos. You can know which video has an Easter egg in it by looking at the pinned comment. If you see an egg in it, the video has an Easter egg. It can be on the one minute mark or at the very end of the video. So the only way you can know what it is, is to watch the entire video to the end. Now you probably want to ask, what's in it for me? Well, each week I'll give the chance to submit a form with the Easter egg you found. The people who correctly guess what the Easter eggs are for four weeks in a row will be entered into a random lottery and might win $200 in Amazon gift cards. And of course, as the channel grows, I'll be giving out better and better prizes with harder and harder contests. Consider me the Mr. Beast of the anime community. Alright, now back to the video. After the entire core was invited to the Infinity Castle arc, we see Shinobu wandering around smelling blood. She then enters a room and sees Doma munching on some poor women. We then see a flashback of Kanai Kocho's death. Shinobu is seen crying as Kanai tells her to quit the Demon Slayer core. Kanai tells her to gain the happiness of a young girl and to live until she becomes old. Shinobu desperately asks her sister about the demon that attacked her, stating that she can't live a normal life like this. The flashback ends with Shinobu recalling that it was a demon which looked like it had blood dumped over its head. She had witnessed the demon devour his victims while surrounded by female corpses all strewn about. The demon smiles and takes off his crown, greeting her saying that it's a nice night and introducing himself as Doma. Shinobu recalls her sister's words that the demon would laugh in a carefree manner and would talk softly. Then one of Doma's victims reaches out desperately for help, only to be told by Doma to be quiet as he was in the middle of talking. Shinobu carries her away from Doma and sweetly asks if she is alright, to which Doma asks whether she was a Hashira due to her speed. Just as the victim attempts to reply, she is murdered by Doma's attacks. Doma smiles and tells Shinobu to leave the body there, stating that he'll eat it later. Shinobu remembers what her sister had stated, the demon's weapons were a pair of sharp fangs. Doma explains that he was the leader of the Eternal Paradise Faith, claiming that it was his duty to be happy with himself and his followers. Shinobu tells Doma disgustedly that the girl he had killed earlier was clearly in pain and begging for help. To this, he responds that he had saved the girl, claiming that she no longer feels pain, suffering, or fear. Doma then goes on to say that everyone fears death, which is why he eats his followers for their sake so they can live forever with him. He claims that he takes his followers' hopes, blood, and flesh to heart and leads them to higher salvation. Shinobu angrily spits that he couldn't possibly be sane and asks whether he's right in the head, telling him that it makes her want to vomit. Doma gives a surprised expression, noting that she's rather harsh for a first meeting. He then realizes that Shinobu must have been through something difficult, pitying her and suggesting he listen to what she has to say about it. Shinobu angrily clutches her Haori and growls that Doma was the one who had killed her sister, fiercely demanding if he has no memories of the Haori. Doma then recalls Kanai as the girl who had used the flower breathings, stating his regrets over not being able to eat her before sunrise. Suddenly, Shinobu cuts him off with a strike to his eye with her insect breathing Dance of the Beasting True Flutter. Doma compliments that it was so fast he couldn't prevent it with his hand. Doma then unleashes his blood demon art, Frozen Lotus. Shinobu backflips and dodges but inhales the ice powder that he had scattered. Doma compliments that she was fast but states that she couldn't kill a demon with stabs and the dismemberment of the neck was the best option. To this, Shinobu responds that if a stab wound doesn't kill him, poison will, just as the wisteria poison goes into effect. Doma falls to the floor and hacks up blood, telling Shinobu that this poison was much stronger than the one she used in Mount Natagumo, saying that Muzan had warned him that she changes her poison for every demon. However, Doma quickly breaks down the poison, widely grinning as he apologizes that he had broken down the poison even though she had gone to the effort to use it on him. He comments that Shinobu's katana makes a distinctive sound whenever she sheaths it. He wonders aloud if that's how she changes the concentration of the poison. He clasps his hands together and joyfully exclaims how it was fun and interesting to get poisoned, and how it may become a habit. He asks Shinobu whether she thinks the next poison formulation would work, excitedly asking for her to try it. 
The chapter ends with Shinobu stating that that would be fine, noting that it was already speculated beforehand that he would most likely break down the poison. Doma recalls his past and his childhood. Born with rainbow-colored eyes and white hair, he was believed to be special and connected to God. His parents, whom he considered stupid, arranged a cult with him at the head called the Eternal Paradise Cult. Worshippers flocked to Doma to repent their issues and problems in life, hoping for advice. However, Doma was unfeeling and found it problematic that adults would seek wisdom from a child. When they begged him to guide them to paradise, he cried, believing that paradise, gods, and Buddha was a fairy tale that never existed, confused as to why people wouldn't believe that they were all just destined to die and rot. Doma believed that it was his duty to make these people happy. Doma notices a slash on his hand and heals himself of Shinobu's poison, asking if she's okay because she's breathing heavily. Shinobu then realizes the true strength of an upper rank, noting Doma's resistance to poison. Doma notes that Shinobu's lungs must be destroyed, having taken a blow of his blood demon technique. She realizes that the fog of his frozen blood is hazardous if breathed in, and decides to use multiple blows to poison him again. Using her insect-breathing Dance of the Dragonfly Compound Eye Hexagon, Shinobu rushes forward and stabs Doma multiple times. Doma states that he believed the insect Hashira might be the fastest one, but as she backs away, Shinobu bleeds profusely, realizing that she herself was also hit in return. Doma taunts her, mentioning that she could have easily cut off his head with her immense speed, but can't due to her small frame. As blood falls on Shinobu's hands, she sees how small they are. She remembers that she had never grown any taller. She laments that she could have killed demons the usual way had she grown more. Shinobu knows larger hands and legs meant more muscle and that it was a distinct advantage. She recalls Kanahe being able to do so despite being only slightly taller and also with a dainty and thin frame, also knowing that Giyome had it easy when it came to killing demons. She remembers Kanahe's last moments with her, telling her she would likely lose to Doma. Suddenly, Kanai's spirit appears before the injured Shinobu, telling her to stand. Shinobu believes she can't because she's heavily bleeding and her left lung is shredded by Doma's fog so she can't breathe normally. Kanai declares that irrelevant and states that she'd win with the right resolve to kill him, no matter the sacrifice, noting she promised to her and to Kanao. Remembering their younger sister, Shinobu crouches down while Doma approaches. Noting the slash Doma gave was only half-hearted but must be painful for her, Kanai urges her younger sister to keep trying, causing her to stand and shocking the upper moon. As she stares at Doma, Shinobu starts to cough blood, prompting Doma to laugh about the blood in her lungs causing her to do so. Resolving to end her pain, he tells her to give up, saying that she's already beyond saving. Shinobu takes a stance and using insect breathing Dance of the Centipede, hundred-legged zigzag, she speeds towards the upper rank. Doma becomes shocked at this feat, noting the destroyed bridge from the impact from her feet's force. Doma tries to slash her back, but is too slow, only managing to hit her cape. Shinobu crouches down again and launches into the air, driving her sword through Doma's neck and forcing his body into the ceiling in one final thrust. Shinobu remembers her childhood, believing that happiness was an endless road throughout life. That belief was shattered when a demon entered her home and killed both her parents, leaving her and Kanai orphaned. They were saved, however, by Gyome Himajima, who quickly defeated the killer. Shinobu realized that though her happiness was forever destroyed, other people's weren't, and resolved to defeat demons and prevent others from suffering the same fate as her. Shinobu and Kanai promised to each other to both become demon slayers to do so. The two believed that despite their weak strength, stopping one demon could save tens of people and stopping an upper rank could save hundreds. Recalling the time when Tanjiro asked if she was angry, she states that she had been so for a long time, remembering her parents' death, her sisters, and those of all her successors. She remembers Aoi, Sumi, Kyo, and Naho, and how their families too were killed. Most of all, she's incensed at her poison's inability to hurt Doma. Her sword slips from Doma's neck, causing her to fall from the ceiling. Doma, however, uses his ice to catch her and pull Shinobu into a hug. The demon tearfully congratulates her for making it this far while mocking her for being weak and less talented than Kanai, to her fury. Doma acknowledges her foolishness at trying to kill him despite all the odds and calls it the thing that makes humans so fleeting. As he decides she's finally worthy of being eaten by him, Doma asks for her final words. Shinobu only responds, go to hell. Kanao opens the door to the cult room and looks up to see Doma clutching her on the roof. As she watches, to Kanao's horror, 
Doma breaks Shinobu's body in his arms, killing her and causing her sword to fall from her hand. Kanao desperately leaps upwards using flower-breathing fourth form Crimson Hanagoromo, but misses when Doma escapes and lands on the floor. The demon advises her not to attack him in the middle of absorbing someone, causing Kanao to seethe with rage. Doma taunts her and fondly recalls that Shinobu only had a short time with him due to his abilities, and decides that this night might be really good, having two gorgeous meals at once, all while licking Shinobu's hairpin.